Hi everyone in this video i am going to explain the reasons for vitamin d deficiency and signs and symptoms which we most commonly seen when vitamin d deficiency occurs according to research in india almost 70 to 80% population are suffering from the vitamin d deficiency vitamin d is also known as sunshine vitamin because most of the vitamin d is synthesized from the sunlight This vitamin D deficiency is most commonly seen in people who stays indoors especially employees software employees because of their insufficient exposure to sunlight vitamin D deficiency is most commonly seen Next comes the old age people in old age people also vitamin D deficiency is seen because as the age increases the ability to synthesize vitamin D decreases Next comes the dark skin people in dark skin people also vitamin deficiency is seen because in dark skin people melanin pigment is there so because of the presence of melanin pigment it reduces the capacity to synthesize the vitamin d and we also see this deficiency in muslims especially people who are wearing burqa because they have insufficient sun exposure the sub ability to synthesize vitamin d decreases thereby it results in the vitamin d deficiency and most commonly we also see vitamin deficiency in people with kidney disorders because activation of vitamin d occurs in the kidneys so whenever kidney related problems occur in our body the ability to synthesize vitamin d decreases that means activation of vitamin d decreases thereby it results in the deficiency of vitamin d next comes the main topic what are the signs and symptoms which are most commonly seen when vitamin d deficiency occurs first of all vitamin d vitamin d helps in the bone strength so whenever there is vitamin d deficiency that is whenever the vitamin d level decreases the bone strength decreases bones become weak it results in bone pain back pain joint pains and in severe cases we also feel fatigue vitamin d also helps in the muscle strength so in people with vitamin d deficiency people will have muscle cramps especially during the night time and in the morning when they wake up vitamin d also helps in the regulating the serotonin levels in the brain so whenever vitamin d deficiency occurs the serotonin level which helps decreases which results in the depression in vitamin d deficiency people will see most commonly mood swings and depression is most commonly seen d also helps in the hair follicle stimulation so whenever this vitamin d levels become low we often see hair loss and in severe cases we also see alopecia that is baldness vitamin d helps in the immune system so whenever vitamin d deficiency occurs immune system reduces it results in the flu cold infection etc and in vitamin d deficiency we often see the people gaining weight it's just because vitamin d deficiency results in improper fat metabolism thereby results in the improper deposition of fat results in the weight gain and obesity these are all the most common symptoms which we often seen recommended daily dosage people with 0 to 1 year children should consume 400 international units that is 10 micrograms of vitamin d per day 1 to 18 years should consume 600 international units 15 micrograms of vitamin d per day 19 to 17 years they should consume 600 to 800 international units that is 15 to 20 micrograms of vitamin d and more than 70 years they should consume 800 international units 20 micrograms of vitamin d per day and pregnant and lactating mothers they should consume 600 international units 15 micrograms of vitamin d per day how vitamin d test is done basically vitamin d is a blood test it is a simple blood test where a blood sample is collected and is sent to the laboratory to analyze the vitamin d there is no preparation is required we can go and give the blood sample at any point of time and no preparation is needed further vitamin d results it will take approximately 2 days and the cost of vitamin d test is approximately 1000 to 1200 rupees now we'll go with the levels of vitamin d 
normal levels of vitamin D is 30 to 100 nanograms per ml and if the levels are 20 to 30 nanograms per ml we consider as insufficient vitamin D and if the vitamin D levels are less than 20 nanograms per ml we consider that person is vitamin D deficiency and in conditions if the vitamin D levels are greater than 100 nanograms per ml we consider as vitamin D toxicity generally low vitamin D is seen in people who does not have enough sunlight that is people who don't expose to the sunlight are vulnerable to vitamin D deficiency and people with dietary insufficiency people with low dietary intake vitamin D levels are less coming to the conditions with high vitamin D uh, vitamin D high levels are generally rare and it's generally seen in people who are taking vitamin D supplements for longer duration in such cases vitamin D levels are high this is all about the vitamin D blood test vitamin D supplements are generally advised in people who have low calcium levels low vitamin D people with osteoporosis hypoparathyroidism tetany etc vitamin D supplements are available as tablets capsules liquids chewable tablets drops etc and they are also available in various dosage forms like 2000 international units 5000 international units 60000 international units etc coming to the dosage if people who are taking 60000 international units whenever there is vitamin d deficiency they should consume 60000 international units tablet weekly once and after food especially after lunch time for 6 weeks after 6 weeks they should take vitamin d supplements every one month if people have normal vitamin d levels they can consume vitamin d supplements every month once in every month 60000 international units side effects are rare but in few conditions there will be constipation nausea vomiting etc Coming to the contraindications, people who are pregnant, breastfeeding mothers, people with kidney, heart problem and hypercalcemia conditions, they should not take vitamin D supplements. They should consult the doctor before using the supplements. Coming to the drug interactions, people who have kidney problem, people who are taking aluminium supplements and anti-epileptic medications like digoxin, lipid lowering drugs like atrovastatin, psoriasis medicines like calcipotrin, heart related medicine like digoxin, blood pressure related medicines like diltiazin, they have uh, proven that they interact with the vitamin D. So people who are taking these supplements, please consult the doctor before using the vitamin D. Then we'll go to the list of vitamin D rich foods. First comes the salmon fish. Approximately for 100 grams of salmon fish, 17.9 micrograms of vitamin D is present. Next comes the tuna fish, 6.7 micrograms of vitamin D is present in 100 grams of food. Next comes the cod liver oil, 1 tablespoon of cod liver oil contains approximately 11.3 micrograms of vitamin D. Next comes the mushroom. For half cup of mushroom, 13.1 micrograms of vitamin D is present. Next comes the egg, egg boiled egg. For one large cup of boiled eggs contain approximately 2.2 micrograms of vitamin D. And next comes the milk. For one cup of milk, 1.3 micrograms of vitamin D is present. Next, orange juice. For one cup of orange juice, one microgram of vitamin D is present. And next comes the soya milk. For 1 cup of soya milk, approximately 1.2 micrograms of vitamin D is available. And rice milk, for 1 cup of rice milk, 1 microgram of vitamin D is present. And next comes the almond milk, for 1 cup of almond milk, 1 microgram of vitamin D is present. And last is the cereals, for 1 cup of cereals, approximately 0.8 to 8.6 micrograms of cereals. Sorry. 0.8 to 8.6 micrograms of vitamin D is present in cereals. Vitamin D also known as sunshine vitamin because most of the vitamin D synthesis is from sunlight. 
Sun rays are a mixture of electromagnetic waves which usually contain infrared light, ultraviolet light and visible light. Ultraviolet beta rays with a wavelength of 280 to 310 nanometers helps in the synthesis of vitamin D. Whenever ultraviolet beta rays from sunlight strikes our body, the provitamin D3 in the skin undergoes a series of enzymatic reactions and convert into active form of vitamin D that is calcitriol. According to research articles and publications, exposure to sunlight between 11 am to 2 pm is very effective in vitamin D synthesis. They also claim that morning sunlight is most effective is sorry, morning light is not effective for vitamin D production because the sunlight does not fall straight on our skin. in the morning and morning sunlight has more ultraviolet a rays which is not effective for vitamin d synthesis i have added a research research article link in the video description box you can check it out and exposure time also plays an important role in the synthesis of vitamin d fair skin people exposure time is 10 minutes and for darker skin people exposure time is 20 minutes For darker skin people more exposure time is required because of the presence of melanin pigment in the skin. Exposure time also varies with age. Older people require more exposure time because vitamin D production in the skin decreases with age. Vitamin D synthesis also varies with the weather conditions. In winter vitamin D synthesis requires more time when compared to the summer. Vitamin D synthesis also varies with the geographical location. In this video I explain location in relation to India. Thank you for watching. This is all about the vitamin D supplements. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please share and subscribe our channel. Thank you.